Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now for those of you that are wondering, hey Robert, a lamp really? And honestly, yeah, just because it is a really interesting lamp, at least in my opinion, is not just any lamp that we find here on the supermarket, at least not on the supermarkets that I go to. And it has some quite interesting features that hopefully I will be able to share with you guys just in a few seconds. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. And guys, I'll show you as best as I can, as usual, on my video, some images and some tests that I did on this uh, BenQ Smart LED Lights. They have another name for it, which is the e-reading LED lamp. But in my opinion, this is a smart lamp, as we will see. But as usual, let's start with the unboxing experience. What I can say to you guys is that it comes in a quite large uh, package, as you guys can see on the screen. I was not expecting uh, such a uh, large package, but it is, uh, to be honest, really well protected. Now, it comes with a quick user guide, but honestly, even if it hadn't any quick user guide, it's easy and very intuitive to assemble and also to use it, as we will see in just a few seconds. It also comes with a power adapter with most of the, uh, well, at least the most common socks. And also it has a base where we put the uh, arm uh, for this lamp. And honestly, this base is really heavy. I did find uh, a few seconds later that it's heavy because it's made out of stone, but nonetheless, <laughs> it is really heavy. Really uh, great to be able to move the lamp around without moving the base. Uh, but nonetheless, they have a sign over there that if we drop it on the feet or on the foot, it will hurt. And I do believe that it will, uh, but I did not uh, test out that part because I would hurt myself for sure. Now, the last part is the lamp itself. It comes with the arm and then the lamp integrated right over here. Now, regarding the assembly, as I mentioned before, it's quite easy. All I needed to do was to uh, attach the arm to the base and then uh, screw one single screw and that that was it and finally just the power adapter and plug it in and we are ready to start using it now moving to the design and build quality uh, what i can say at least my feeling when i look at this uh, lamp it doesn't look like a lamp it looks like something else uh, that it's meant to be used in other way at least for me, which I was not used to this kind of unit right over here. And the first thing that comes to my mind is that it looks really cool. And this is my opinion, of course, and you, some of you will like it, some of you won't, but I find it really cool. Now, besides being cool, it has this uh, shaped, uh, it's not usual to see on lamps, and this uh, will give a huge impact in illumination because this is like a ultra wide lightning, not a ultra wide display but ultra light uh, or lightning which will give a bigger area uh, they mention about 150 degrees of lightning area which i didn't measure i haven't got the tools for it but it does a difference now besides the cool design and the wide angle of the light it also is well built when we touch at it uh, it's a solid it's made of solid uh, material metal here and then the base made of stone which is a great detail and talking about details they also have some details like this one here when we want to turn it on just a single click and there we go so this is great for a premium lamp which we will talk also uh, in a few seconds but in terms of build quality in terms of design itself i've got no complaints at all looks great and it actually works as well. we'll show you in just a few seconds now as you guys already saw to turn it on all i need to do is just a short uh, click here on the metal piece and then to turn it off uh, the same now if we press it longer it will activate what they call the eye care uh, which will sense the ambient light the reflection intensity of light and then it will adjust itself so that uh, our eyes uh, will be uh, or will have the best viewing experience possible and it will change to a warmer or colder 
colder depending on our environment which is great and I did a lot of tests right over there I did test it out here on the office which is great but I also tested out upstairs on my uh, wife and kids setup which I will share a few more details in just a few seconds and what I can say is that the eye care settings although we can do it manually it's really hard because uh, we will need to find adjust it and here we just a press of a button which I can do it right now to activate it uh, it will sense the light and the uh, environment that I've got and it will give me a warmer or colder white and the intensity will or the intensity of this light will be adjusted according to what I have right now. Nonetheless, if we want to adjust it manually because in some situations it's just more comfortable to just click and uh, put it on the intensity that I need, especially if I want to light myself or light another object and all I need to do is to press uh, the button or to be more precise sorry to turn the knob on the top which will give me the intensity uh, of the light and then if I press it once I will then turn the knob and it will give me or it will adjust the color temperature which will work between 2700 Kelvin and 5700 Kelvin which is also known as a warm or colder white and I also did some tests uh, on these two colors and hopefully you guys can see on the screen the difference which is always difficult to uh, transmit audio and to transmit light to that side of the screen but hopefully you can see it uh, lightening my scene both here in this office and the upstairs so that you can see the difference. Now in terms of adjustments as you guys may imagine uh, with this kind of arm we can adjust it uh, pretty much the way that we want it has a quite a large uh, area and uh, the lead itself is not fixed I can also uh, adjust the lead so we can adjust pretty much everything and the lead it's useful because we can change to a uh, different angle for example in this particular case if I want to adjust the lead to this side uh, to illuminate myself I can do so and if I want to illuminate the other side I can also do so uh, in terms of uh, manual adjustments for the uh, direction of the light this is also a detail that they had in attention is not just something that it's stuck to uh, one position and then that is it now uh, they paid attention to this so we can adjust it anywhere that we want now as I was mentioning before although this is targeted at lightning scenes like this one right over here with the display where I do read documents and where I do read from uh, my screen we can use it on several different uh, scenarios and I also tested out something that I'm usually uh, used to do here on the office with my screen lights or with my studio lights to be more precise I did actually test it to uh, light me here and as you guys can see it's not bad at all now with just one lamp I would say uh, for the uh, video quality that video quality sorry that I'm doing at this moment would not be enough but it's pretty good for one light. I even uh, went further and placed my office all dark and then tested with just this lamp and I can get pretty much a good lightning environment where I could do everything with just uh, this lamp right over here as you guys can see on screen. Nonetheless I did a lot of tests here but as you guys know and as I said on this video a couple of times I do have studio lights I, I, I don't miss light here as you guys can see sometimes I do have much uh, more light than I need so I took this lamp upstairs to my wife and kids set up as I said before and there is a more realistic way uh, of testing this lamp and as you guys can see by the image it is uh, office with a darker environment it's not dark but it's a more dimmable uh, environment where we have three computers and then uh, my wife on the middle and my kids on both sides and if I test this lamp there what I can say is that it makes a huge difference as you guys can see there I was moving the uh, lead around to see what was the best 
uh, position and there is a balance there where we can light the old desk not interfering with uh, the glare on the displays of course that i'm talking about matte displays i haven't tested with any glossy display but you guys can see the difference it makes a huge difference especially for someone like my wife that takes some documents there to read and also my kids that do some homework there so i was imagining this scenario while uh, testing the lamp and it worked just great and i also asked my wife for her opinion and her answer was that this light is not going anywhere from that office uh, right over there because she just loved it the kind of light that this uh, gives now you can ask me hey robert are there any other lights that will transmit the same more or less the temperature and intensity of this led sure there will be uh, many out there these two that i use here on the office which by the way are more expensive than this one right over here can do almost the same temperature and more intensity than this but these are studio lights so there will be other lights and if you ask me hey robert is this the cheapest lamp that you have seen no it's not it's not for everyone uh, but for someone that is looking to take care of its eyes to have something really nice on the office different from other lamps then it's not a bad option what i can say is that it is the smartest and the most a cool looking lamp that I've used it is and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one